enjoy this short from Sarah, Aaron, Rachel, and Bree in the Lutheran Ladies' Lounge. Well, as before, I want you guys to help me pick because okay. I can't choose these things on my own. I need, like, I've got it narrowed down to, like, six. For okay. now. But before we pick our book, I just want to mention to people out there, I know that some people had trouble finding our Facebook conversations on this book. And we're going to try and make it easier for you next time. Rather than having our book club discussion sort of floating out in the the giant thread of prayer requests and cookie photos and things like that <laughs> go on every day, we're going to actually create an event for each book discussion. Once we create that event, all you have to say is, I'm going or I'm interested. You won't actually have to show up anywhere physically. But <laughs> That way, when new comments are posted in this particular discussion, you'll get an alert right away and you can chime in and we'll hopefully be able to keep the conversation a little bit more accessible to people that way. We'll see if it works. So watch for this. <laughs> we'll see. Try. This is an experiment. We got to yes. make this work, guys. <laughs> so what is that next book going to be? We had a topic, a genre left over from last time okay. that I thought we might want to revisit and okay. I'll add one more genre. So you guys get to pick. Okay. Of two genres. One, more historical fiction, but yes. this time from the perspective of an older but wiser narrator. Genre number two will go somewhere completely different. Nonfiction. Nonfiction that is almost guaranteed to make you the smarty pants at your next church function. Oh, man. Wow. That is a hard choice. That is not a hard right? choice. That is both the things I love. No. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever we pick, we'll save, we'll save the other category for next <laughs> Time. So don't you won't be You're this won't be the last year of eliminating year, but... anything. <laughs> so I think we should do nonfiction, and I'm not even normally a nonfiction person, but I think it's good to have a little I'm rotation. Not smart enough. But that's my vote. That's you my... are smart enough, Bree. What do you mean you're not smart enough? That's why you read. Also, I'm really curious what interesting nonfiction you're going to give us because okay, I also don't read. Well, that's not true. I read a lot of nonfiction on Google. <laughs> <laughs> Does Wikipedia count? That's the internet. Okay, Everything so on this does real. not count. Here are your three choices for smarty pants nonfiction. Uh -huh. okay. Oh boy, would you rather read a book that made you the smarty pants at the church coffee hour? At the church rummage sale, or at the church Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest rummage sale. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna say coffee uh, hour? You might have to tiebreaker this one for us. <laughs> I'm gonna go with rummage sale. All right, that's Ooh, fine. Yeah. Okay, I'm super excited about this because I've been hearing good things about this book. I have not actually read it yet, Ooh. so hopefully it's not awful. <laughs> But it's just great. It's just recent. It was just out in November. Give me a break, break. Oh, okay. okay, that's fine. So what have you been doing? Our, <laughs> our next. <laughs> what do you do all day? I've got to sit down first. That's sigh. We love you, Rachel. <laughs> okay, so as with our previous books, I do do vet all of these to make sure that they are previous books. One book. Um, make sure that they are available in hard copy audiobook and ebook and this one is so we are going to be reading secondhand travels in the new global garage sale Whoa. by adam minter what so looking so that up real right quick I... yeah like we're, we're all gonna go <laughs> look this up <laughs> so here's a here's a little excerpt from the amazon description downsizing decluttering a parent's death sooner or later all of us are faced with things we no longer need or want but when we drop our old clothes and other items off at a local donation center where do they go sometimes across the country or even halfway across the world to people and places who find value in what we leave behind so I think this book looks really fascinating. I am a huge thrift shopper. I'm a huge Same. rummage sailor mm -hmm. and I donate tons of stuff and I buy tons of stuff. And I'm just I'm just one way station on the global thrift journey for all this stuff. But Same. I'm really looking forward to reading this and I think it'll be a really eye opening look at what we do with stuff when we're just done with it. FYI, the release date for this on Audible is February fourth. Oh, that's okay. right around the corner. That's plenty of time. So <laughs> this, is, this is a number one bestseller in waste management. Oh. So that. Whoa, that sounds great. <laughs> that's a whole category. <laughs> that is a whole category. <laughs> 
<laughs> so anyway, I look forward to reconnecting with you at that uh, in, a, in a month or two, two months probably, and then we'll revisit historical fiction at a later date. Okay, that's fine. All right. It's okay. Excellent. Cool. I'm not mad. So secondhand travels in the new global garage sale. That's our new book. By Daniel. Yes. Fantastic. Adam Minter. Adam is the Minter. Author. <laughs> I'm really excited about this one too. Um, I'm a huge th- I think probably my entire wardrobe is secondhand and I'm Same. not shy about telling people Mm-mm. that when they nope. when they tell me that they really like something I'm wearing, I'm like, you know where I got this? At the thrift store. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I, I yes, this will be great. Join us for the next book club in Lutheran Ladies Lounge. We're gonna try to make it easier for all of you. So if if it is easier or not for you all to find the discussion, please give us your feedback about mm-hmm. this because we do actually want to make this a fun process for everyone. And I did hear several people uh, that say that, that it was a little challenging for them to be involved the last time. So we we do want you all involved. So please tell us if it's working or not for you and we're, we're going to figure this out. <laughs> so our next book is Secondhand Travels in the New Global Garage Sale by Adam Minter. Go find it uh, wherever, however you like to read your books. You can find all of our podcasts at kfuo.org slash Lutheran Ladies Lounge. Of course, join us in our Facebook group, The Lutheran Ladies Lounge. You can find all of our discussions uh, beyond books, if books aren't really your thing, but books really should be your thing. Now. I get a thing. <laughs> they're really fun. <laughs> <laughs> if I can read, you can read. It's true. <laughs> You're listening to The Lutheran Ladies Lounge Podcast. I'm Sarah. I'm Erin. I'm Bree. <laughs> and I'm Rachel. <laughs> I was testing sound effects. 